And welcome back, everyone, to part nine of What If Naruto Went Rogue and Started His Own Village. Last time on the Naruto What If, doing my best Dragon Ball Z voice. Naruto and everyone had just gone through the finals of the Chunisians plus the Konoha Crush arc. A uh, third did manage to survive. You'll buy away again. You'll notice I still haven't figured out how to flip my damn screen back. I accidentally took... I accidentally deleted the video capture device on my OBS, reactivated it, and now I'm reversed for some reason. I still haven't figured out how to do that. I Maybe I'm just going to be stuck in the reverse limo, because this is my right arm right here. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. Um, anyway, I digress. So, yeah, the third did manage to survive, thanks to help from Utakata, Utakata and uh, A, and Orochimaru was taken out. Uh, Kari and Naruto basically officially became a couple, but as when they got back to Uzu, it was found out that Zabza had returned, and he was not in great shape. Tsunade explained that, or uh, Tsunade and Jiraiya, uh, after doing some interrogation, had figure, had uh, revealed that the Mizu, the water ninja, the mist ninja there, were going after Zabza after another attempted coup to take back his country had gone very badly. Uh, now, it sh we should know at this point what is going on with the mist. Because uh, as far as I know, uh, Yagura was still in power at this time. I believe it was during the three years that Yagura was no longer, uh, that was basically kicked out of power. Granted, we know Yagura was under a Genjutsu, but still. Um, <clears throat> they was kicked out, overthrown, whatever you want to call it. The 30 Tales was extracted from him. And then later on in the series, as we see in Shippuden, Kisame went after the Three Tails himself. And then Mei took over. So, Yagra should still be in power, and Zabuza, claiming that he wanted to take his home back. Um, claiming he wanted to take the mist back. And being paid by Uzu uh, to get uh, support and all that, went after him. Unfortunately, Yagra is way too powerful for someone like Zabuza. is a strong character. But he, once we got, like, even midway through the original Naruto series, there were characters that could have cleaved him in two, no problem. Uh, <clears throat> and and as strong as, as Zabuza may have gotten, even getting stronger, there's no way he could have beaten Yagra. So Zabuza was there, and yeah, they they go and they ask what happened. Zab just kind of wakes up, like Ugh. it was uh, I was stupid. My dream. It was a stupid dream. It's like, and Haku tries to say, it wasn't stupid, Zabza-san. Uh, Zabza uh, you, you just weren't prepared. I had I had all the money and resources and men at, at my disposal, and I couldn't even, uh, we couldn't even put up a measly 10-minute fight against that bastard. Uh, as long as he's in power, there's nothing, there's nothing someone like me can do. And, well, and Naruto was just looking on, like, what happened to you? Uh, Mizu happened. And now, and now I brought the devil to your door. Uh, wait, what do you mean? And Jiraiya pops in. The Mizu ninja. Uh, if we're gonna, we're either gonna have to kill them or let them go. And if we, if we, either way, Mizu's gonna be on their way here. Uh, <clears throat> and Ut Utakata's like, I, hmm, and thinks on it. As of course, they must have figured out that we were the ones that helped, must have supplied him the money. Uh, supplied him the resources. Seeing as he, ha seeing as rumors probably spread that he was here for a while anyway. And then the fact that he fled here, uh, fled back here. Uh, so, so Uta, Utaka is just going to, uh, it, it puts us right in the crosshairs. Uh, and Naruto now thinking like, how can, why? Because remember, Naruto technically is the leader of Uzu. He's the one who created, who had the idea for starting a new village. He's the one who, uh, you know, who brought these people together. He's the one who kind of made the all happy. He even helped you know, rebuild a lot of this place. So he is, and he, his plan is to become the Hoka, the Uzukage of this place, to lead this village. So he, and Utakata still goes to him for advice, like, what do you think we should do? And then they talk about it. So technically, Naruto is the shadow leader of this place, but Utakata, being the more mature, experienced ninja, and by all accounts, the stronger ninja, is still the actual figurehead Kage, and still making a lot of the day-to-day -day uh, decisions, things along those lines, but he does discuss the major stuff with Naruto, and he looks to Naruto and is like, uh, get, "So there's only there's only a couple options we have." And Naruto stops and things like so, and I it realizes, you know, I was hoping we would never have to come to a day like this, but I'm not stupid enough to think that it wouldn't happen. 
And so Naruto just kind of th thinks and just kind of like closes his eyes. And he, he actually goes into his mindscape and just kind of like looks at the amount of, amount of chakra he has access to the fox from the fox and thinks, is my power and that power enough? Plus the things I know I have to protect these people. And the fox laughs. <laughs> A pathetic breath like you. You really think you can protect these people? You're nothing. You're nothing. You're nothing without my power. You're, um, and even with my, even with a small fraction of power, your measly body can handle. There's nothing you could do to protect this entire, these in, this small, insignificant group against the might of an entire na great nation. <laughs> and Naruto just looking at him, looking at him, and actually just looks at him and is like, "Are you done? Look, I get it. You don't like me, but you don't like me, and I, I don't like the situation we got placed in. But why do you got to be such a dick about it?" Why, do you, why, what pleasure do you get in this? Uh, and, uh, the, and the fox is like, you, I've seen your, I've seen your kind. I'm going to go, your kind is the reason I'm stuck in to begin with. If I can get any, if there's any enjoyment I can get, it's of watching your people squirm. And Naruto kind of actually just take, it looks, takes the version of Chakra he has, he's allowed from the fox. Now, whether or not the fox can actually take it back is actually a good question. Uh, by all account, we know the fox can give him more chakra if he needs it. Uh, we see that in his fight in the fourth Christian no more. I don't know if he can just kind of switch it off, though. Uh, like, it, it, I think Nar once Naruto has accessed that chakra, it's his chakra to use. I don't know if the fox can the drain in reverse. Because if he can do that, he should be able to drain Naruto's chakra as well. But that's not how the seal works. So I have a feeling that once Naruto has, like, access to some of Kurama's chakra, the fox can't, like, turn that off. So Naruto just put, goes into his one-tailed state and just looks him dead in the eye and just says, look, it's like, I, be it so, I will die to protect these people. I give him my word. And I never go back on my word. That's my ninja, my ninja way. Uh, it's, like, it's like, you really think I'll let you die? No, I don't. Because because you, you value your life a lot more than you value mine. <laughs> He's just kind of like, Grr. Uh, but you know what? Honestly, I hope someday I can help you out. <laughs> the fox, like, it's basically that line he has later in Shippuden where it's like, you know, I hope I can leave you of all your hatred. You know, it's not good to have hatred. It's not good to have all this negativity. Believe me, I know. You know, may, maybe you will. <laughs> sorry, you mind the, don't mind the dog. Dog's just like, I'm getting all nested up. Um, you know, I hope to one day be able to save, um, save you from your hatred too, maybe someday, or at least make you at least a little happier. It's like, who the hell do you think you're talking? And the fox is like shocked by this. Who the hell do you think you're talking to? Get back here, you brat! And that just disappears with that cheeky grin. It's like, you son of a bitch. Um, and Naruto finally just kind of gets out of his like meditation, which technically it's not in real time. But it does take, it's kind of like he goes into like a little bit of trance for like a minute and just finally, like he looks like he's thinking. But I goes, where, uh, get every, and Naruto says, get every able ninja we can. It's time, it's time to prepare for, it's trying to prepare for battle. And, and, and Utaka, very, very well then. Uh, what about the Mist Ninjas? Send them back and let them know. If they're coming, we'll be ready. And sure enough, you know, these, the Mist Ninjas, like, <laughs> Mist Ninja, Ninja, after one of them had been turned into a frog and they gave up the info, right? There's like, oh God, turns them back. Oh, oh God, what the hell is it? <laughs> like, you know, we don't see Jiraiya turn a guy back into a human. I wonder what that experience does to someone. <laughs> My body. Um, and so uh, they dry turns back. They're just like, now go. Uh, now go. Tell, uh, and Utaka even says, tell, tell your Mizukage that if he wants, if he wants Zabza, if he wants to come to New Izu, that will be his choice. Uh, but uh, that's his choice, but know that he will not, they only, to kind of go with the Gwakana line, all he'll find here is water in blood. <laughs> um, and the Misa just hightail it out of there. And then Utaka basically says, how long do you think we'll have before they, that we see them? And he's like, given the distance and how long it might take them to mobilize, a couple days, week at most, if we're lucky, well, then we better get ready. <laughs> and so they get ready. But Dry is because we do know Dry has a communication network. The spy network is a made-up fandom, but we do know he's clearly got um, contacts because <clears throat> he was able to learn about the Akatsuki's movement. So he clearly has contacts. He probably also gets a, a note, uh, like a, con a confirmation that looks like it looks like Mizu, uh, Mizu isn't the only one on their way here. And it's like, what do you? And it's like, what do you mean? Apparently, apparently the stones became in the tabs on you too. 
luckily that old fence luckily that old fence sitter is, uh, does, uh, doesn't get that name simply for <laughs> does it because he literally sits on fences he's it seems a troop of about 50 uh ewa ninja coming our way as well they'll be tagging for the north side well well what are we gonna do now should know sunata and jiraiya are not affiliated with uzu in the sense they're not uzu nin but they are leaf ninja the leaf has mobilized and has formed a tree so an allyship with them and honestly sunata and jiraiya are have grown to like uzu quite a bit they're not going to stay there forever, but they have grown to actually like these people. These people have been very nice and generous to them. Um, by the way, I never did finish responding in that conversation about the, the difference between, I think, coping and what Sonati was doing. We were having a discussion with uh, a, uh, a viewer of mine about what Sonati was doing. And they, I, di I didn't. I didn't, I didn't continue the conversation. I'm going outside tension, but I'm going to leave it like at a minute starting now. I didn't continue the conversation because there's one of those conversations I didn't like. Not because I was proven wrong. It was the fact of, it's because they said there are methods of, different methods of coping. And one of the methods included the version Sonata had. But I don't like the, uh, the fact that we've grown to a state where we have now determined that a form of coping is in essence not coping. The descriptor of how that method of coping is, is essentially not coping. <laughs> so I didn't really, I didn't agree. There wasn't really much of an argument I could make past that because I couldn't argue the fact that that was the definition. But I don't like the fact that we've hit a, that we hit a point where one of the versions of coping that exists is a form of, is basically non-coping. Uh, as for the status backstory thing real quick, I'll just sum that up too. I... I think there's a difference between trying to compare backstories with fictional characters and in real life. In real life, if you were to try to out-tragedy someone with your backstory, yeah, you're starting to come off like a sympathy-craving a, a sympathy craving dick. But with fictional characters, I think it's fine because they're not real. Uh, I, I think they can be written very well to the point where we don't like doing that, but I think it's okay to do that when it's just fiction because we're not really hurting anyone in that regard. We're not really hurting anyone's feelings or anything like that. So I don't, I don't really see the problem with ranking the saddest backstories or anything like that uh, with fictional characters because they're not real. So that, that's just, just to sum up the thing with the conversation we were having a couple of weeks back. Anyway, so Jirai agrees. Don't worry. I'll, I'll take, I'll take the North front and, um, uh, and, couple and not i think the water ninja waterfall ninja will help us out because they do also have an alliance with the waterfall and though they do send at least uh, like half a dozen ninja or so not a lot because they're not a huge village either but they sent half a dozen ninja to help out some tuning maybe one of joni uh they do see food there and they're they, i think they're neutral to, they're, they have to remember they're in someone else's village now and uh Fu has gone and joined this village seems to be doing well uh, so they go and they're aiding with Jiraiya on the northern front. Now you'd think, well, Konoha's got an alliance with them. Let's let's get them in there. But unfortunately, to help out. But unfortunately, remember they just dealt with their own invasion, so they just don't have the resources right now to be aiding at all. They even learn about the uh, the impending invasion. There's and they even sense like we we wish we could help aid you in this time. And even, but unfortunately, in there before. They, basically, they Utaka basically through Jiraiya they're sending messages of what's happening, and Utaka basically Uta, I keep saying Utaka it's Utakata he even says we understand well, no trust me I was there I understand we just thank you and any support we can we can offer may perhaps we'll we and we can aid each other in rebuilding if need be uh, but for right now just stay at the ready if need if we need it we have we should be able to handle them to which the third and a couple of them are actually like. They should be able to handle them, really. There's, uh, from what they what we understand, they don't have a huge ninja army, which are ninja forces. Which, by the way, let's let's recap right now what we got here. We got Tsunade and Shizune who are actually going to be hanging back, um, if for you know the medical aid if it's needed. We got Jiraiya there. None of those guys are native to Uzu. Plus the six waterfall ninja I just have. So that's what nine, two of them overly powerful ninja. Sure. You got the three Genin. You got Utakata. You got Gurin. You got three uh chinoki uh tuning plus three extra followers of zabuza and which i believe gets me up to 11 and uh the demon brothers plus haku uh that's like 12 to 13 they got about 20 ninja all together here 
So how is it that they're actually might be okay? Well, we fast forward now because they've had some time to prep. Uh, they, they've been standing ready at the Mizu front, let's call it the, the part of the, uh, island, part of the nation facing Mizu. And they see, uh, they see about, I say about 200, not the full ninja force, mind you, not at all, but about a couple hundred Mizu nin, kind you would use for an invasion. And standing in front of them is the little chibi brat himself. And I say little chibi brat, he really wasn't a brat. He was actually very mature for his age. Um, but the, I call Leo Chi because he's a monster right now, uh, under a Genjutsu, uh, with his little hook, uh, his hook staff, which was a cool weapon, by the way. Give him, I give props. That was a cool weapon. And he's there and he's just using chalk whenever amplifies his voice. Like, New Uzu, we have been, we've been keeping an eye on you for some time. A villa, uh, a vill the village for outcasts you've been called. You've grown quite, you've grown quite, uh, uh, quite a lot in the short amount of time you've been existing. But uh, as it's, uh, and we even keep an eye on wondering if you would be friend or foe. Back in the day, we, it was clear answer, foe. But we were hoping it might be different this time. Uh, even with your foul, even with the foul blood you uh, could have within your borders, because obviously they would still have information. It's not like they have a lot of protection, unfortunately, for New Uzu in terms of information coming and going. So they're pretty aware that there are several Kekagenkais in the village. But, uh, but right now we're talking, we are discussing more about, uh, about traitors, traitors and what they mean towards our village. Traitors are doing something no village can have. I'm sure you can understand that given, given your recent, uh, given your um, only just recent uh, creation. Uh, we, I, I, I give you one off, uh, one offer. Bring us the bring us the head and bring us Sabaza Mamochi and we'll leave you in peace. Uh, we might even consider a treaty with you down the road, so given given the goods that seem to be coming from your village. Um, <laughs> I this is a one time offer. No, we could take what we want as we did so many years ago. But I'll leave. I'll, but I'm a generous man. So what? So what say you? And, and there is and then and right on they see on the water. Three ninja, three ninja. I believe they're blondish hair, maybe gray, brownish hair. I can't remember what the clan's overall hair color looked like. And one, um, one apparently Ambu, which we know who the Ambu is, standing there and standing, standing on or right behind them is Zabaza Momochi. And it's like yeah, very smart. It's like the only, the only, uh, the only smart one here. Uh, that's very, very smart of you. you uh, <laughs> and they're looking at it's like. No, no, we're actually, actually, we're just dangling a carrot in front of you. Uh, I, I offered more. To be honest, I offered my myself up. I offered myself as a sacrifice to spare these people. They're, they're far better. They're, they're far better of a nation than you'll ever be. But they said no. They, they said they think of me as one of their own. Something I haven't felt since, since, since I was, And he actually kind of lingers on it. Something I haven't felt in a long time. I'm not. I am not letting you hurt this village. But they're not going to let you hurt me either. And so if you want me, <laughs> and to which then Haku basically responds, come and get him. <laughs> and uh, and, and Yager is just like, hmm. oh, well, I tried. Yeah, take take them, all of them. And then you get dozens upon dozens upon dozens, dozens of ninja coming at them. And then Zabaza and the three ninja charging in front. <laughs> Four ninja, even with Zabaza, that's nothing. All of a sudden, they just said, what? And then they see all the ninja, like the front line of the ninja coming in, all the ninja are frozen in place. Like, what? It's a crab and Zabaza comes in and just starts cleaving through them. It's like, ah, get him. All of a sudden, the blood start because remember what Shinoki ninjas uh, can do, the Ketsurugan? It can cast the Sharingan level Genjutsu. But more importantly, it manipulates iron-heavy liquid, such as mineral-dense water or blood. So you get Zabaza slicing duh, like a good a couple, duh, half a dozen and a half with one swing, and all of a sudden the Chinooki Ninja activate their Kekigen guy, and they're just. <laughs> and I don't have a GIF of it, but if you recall Bleach recently, a Thousand Year Blood War, last uh, the first season. Uh, when Tsunari activated her Bonkai, you know, it's just basically this torrent of blades of blood going everywhere. That's exactly what these three ninja are doing. 
basically every time Zab Zabaza is slicing through a bunch of them, getting the blood out, and then the others just and every guy they drop is increasing the amount they can do. So it's literally a very quickly increasing the buzzsaw of death of blood and destruction. And uh and uh Ayago's like uh, uh, I uh, uh, I do. I'm not familiar with those. Uh, that Keke Genkai, uh, to manipulate blood is, is a dangerous ability indeed. But tell me, can, uh, but tell me, uh, what what good is that if you cannot protect both fronts? And it's like yeah, to which uh, to which Zab is basically kind of uh, to which actually someone yells out. I can actually see it being uh, Gorin who yells, uh, or not actually Fu. I remember how I did now. All of a sudden. Haku does like the crystal ice mirrors. Fu comes in with a blinding scale technique. Fu, you mean your, you mean those Ewa Ninja? Don't worry, we got those taken care of as we cut to basically a giant toad. Not Gamma Punta, but toad. Slam doesn't. Oh, God, no, that can't be. They know who Minato is. I bet you they know who Jiraiya is. Uh, they might not have a flea on sight order on Jiraiya, but the Ewa Ninjas? Oh, they would probably know who Jiraiya is. <laughs> it's like, hey, Jiraiya the Toad Sage! Get some! Well, he might not say get some, but that'd be probably be an Arto line, but <laughs> Jiraiya's quirky enough he might use that line. It's like, and uh, you want it? Come and get it! <laughs> Actually, that's a better Jiraiya line. And then the, oh, the um, Taka Ninja are helping out, so they're quickly making mince worth of the Ewa Ninja. Yagra's now getting pissy. And say, like, uh, and finally you get a Chinooki Ninja with a basically like almost like a tree-sized blade of blood coming his way. Like, and Yago just casually turns his staff, creates the mirror image. That mirror image of blood comes out. To, uh, all of a sudden Yago comes in, shoo, gashes him deep. Uh, now the beauty of the ability to manipulate blood is you can manipulate your own blood. So theoretically, as long as you're not getting like a decapitation or a, um, a severed limb, you could probably survive most hits. Like as long as the like he didn't get his like sternum like just taken out, but he got a serious gash. But he's stopping the blood flow. Just, uh, Yagra is suddenly coming in, throwing throwing attacks out left and right. He's starting to blitz them a little bit. They're doing their best. One of the Chinooki Ninja actually notices something like that can't now. I don't know if the Kitsurigan can dispel Genjutsu. We know the Sharingan can do that. And it's directly compared to the Sharingan in terms of its ability to cast Genjutsu. And I'm going to just get a quick reminder up here right now. Kitsuriya, it's Kitsuriya clan. Uh, one second here. Uh, and they got the Kitsuriya gone. Uh, which is a cool one. That's the one of the only uh, Dojutsu I haven't used it. Let's see here. Uh... Let's see. Upon makes the user blah, 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 can, no, Jutsu confers Genjutsu casting uh, abilities either by making physical skin contact with a target or meeting each other's gaze, which upon they can hypnotize the victim in a variety of ways or even delve deep into the mind. Uh, you, you, you gave the user... Uh, come on. I hate these ads. Uh, gave the user's ability to manipulate iron or anything with a high iron concentration, which is F F um So yeah, and they can also manipulate uh, something with uh, like straight iron as well. Um, but unfortunately, yeah, they can't dispel Genjutsu, but they can cast Genjutsu and probably see it. So, the, so they know Kagi uh, Yagira is under a Genjutsu because they can see it in his eyes. And it's a Sharingan Genjutsu to boot. Uh, but unfortunately now, like the two, two of the two like are down. Kaku basically has to, you know, makes an ice wall to get out of there. But Yagira quickly just goes into a tail close, just boom. I gave you a warning, uh, the tainted bloods. Now you will, now, now you'll feel what happens when you don't, uh, when you don't heed said warning. And he makes like this giant, I don't know all of Yagers, but we won't see a lot of them. We know he can do that coral technique, which we think is from the ten of uh, the three tails. We know he can do that mirror copy technique, which is really cool. He's got a, he's clearly got water release. So I think a cool ability would just be a giant blade of water just comes like geysering through the uh, water right at them. And just as about to hit, all of a sudden, a crystal wall appears, and Gorin is there to fall back on. Uh, and she's just like, you will not be getting through here. And to which he looks at Crystal. Interesting. I've heard rumors about you, uh, Crystal user. But are you, and it goes into like, a full, it goes into a full-on version one cloak. It's like, but are you as strong as, as strong as you uh, are claimed to be? And Gorin's just like, one way to find out. And they see, keep flashing. Now, you might be wondering. Where is Utaka, Karin, Naruto in this? 
Uh, well, we're getting that second. As they clash, the crystal's starting to break. Uh, I could now I could see a really cool combination uh, of techniques with, um, <clears throat> and I think I did this at once already. But uh, uh, using crystal and this blinding skills technique together to create like a blinding flash. <laughs> I've had enough. 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 And if I'm not mistaken, Yagura was a perfect Jinchuriki, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to find that out right now. If he wasn't, uh, well, screw it, he is in this version. Uh, Yagura? Uh, Yagura, Naruto, there it is. Uh, let's see, Yagura once, is once... Uh, was, uh, let's see here, was he a perfect Jinchuriki? Let's find out. Uh, significant amount of guards, such a conform tail beast. Ultimate technique, tail beast bomb. Uh, enough control to prove it and powerful enough. This form is able to go coral pond technique, which allows coral to choose. Uh, you, 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 you. Uh, so, yeah, okay, he wasn't a perfect Jinchuriki, but he was extremely powerful. For the sake of this video, F it, let's make him a perfect Jinchuriki. Just because of what's about to happen. So he just turns it, and they see the snobby there, and they see the giant turtle, and they just go, holy crap. Uh, it's like, and even Grunt's like, oh, someone hardened ninja, like, that's, and Zabas is watching. Uh, are you sure the kid's got, got this handled? He, I'm tr I trust Naruto. He hasn't let us down yet. Though she's sweating bullets right now, just, <laughs> and, um, I was like, I gave, I gave you a chance, Uzu. Now, now you... Now you'll see what happened the last time you uh, last time we took you down. Only this time I won't, I won't just uh, only this time I just won't wipe the people. I'll wipe your very island from the face of the existence and just tail these up. Just boom comes right at them and they brace and there's just a boom and there's silence like a but like a loud and the tail beast ball is there and it just stopped. And they're all just like, what? It's like, so the brat got it to work after all. <laughs> the thing is, that was close. And in the center of the village, the, the, like the focal point of the, of the entire territory, let's call it, country of Uzu, Naruto, the actual food, because what we've been seeing is a shadow clone, and Utaka, all in their maximum tail cloaks, are fueling this giant chakra seal, a giant chakra barrier seal. Naruto's got one clone, and Kari is there, keeping an eye on them. For uh, uh, Tsunade and Shizune there are also, you know, helping fix up the uh, Chinoki ninja that got hurt. Some of the waterfall ninja got hurt as well, so they're helping clean, fixing them up. Tsunade had... I think Tsunade muscled through her fear of blood in this scenario here. She would have probably been a little, eh, but whatever. She It's like... For the better, for the cause, okay? Just help these people, help them. Uh, but basically, Naruto and so, so, Sanabe Yagura is like, what the hell? Uh, damn you, poof! And they're just... <clears throat> Fortunately, all three of them are higher tail beasts than the, of Yagura by a minimum of twice as much, so they probably have more. Again, there's a pair of NCE uh, Hammer as... Um, Nick on that channel has pointed out that there's no quite evidence to suggest that they are, that's how the tail beast order goes because, uh, but there's enough evidence to suggest that is how that goes. Uh, cause we know that QB is the strongest and we know that Yuki is the second strongest. So it logically would make sense that the tail beasts are ordered by in strength by their number of tails. Um, and so, yeah, you got one tail beast who's just twice as strong as the sun, the sun, uh, Sanabi. And then you got the seven, and you got the nine tails there. Granted, Naruto can only use one tail. Uh, I think Fu, I've had put a maximum of five on here at this point. And I believe uh, Utakata can actually use all six of his tails in version one. And so they're fueling this giant chakra seal uh, and barrier. Naruto finally steps up. And, and uh, I'm getting, it's like, go, uh, leave. What? Is it? What are you? Who are you? My name is Naruto Uzumaki, and I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be the uh, the leader of this village one day. And I'm telling you right now to leave, uh, leave uh, leave these people in peace. Uh, take your take your violence and your bloodshed somewhere else, uh, somewhere else. It's <laughs> like so you must. 
Uzumaki. He doesn't look, and he's just saying he doesn't look like an Uzumaki. I'm, I'm giving you one chance right now. Leave now and or, 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 or face the consequences. And Yagra is both humored by this, insulted, and everything in between. Just like, you really think you can beat me? You really think you can take on the power of the mist, brat? Fine. Uh, then I'll show you what... I will show you the, what it means to defy us! And just makes the biggest one he can make. It's like, it's like I, don't say I didn't warn you. Uh, and he's just waiting for this last one to go, come by. And, you know, he's charging up. And he fires it. And this time, Naruto just, the clone just disappears. Like, Naruto's eyes just open. like, do it. And it's like, very well. And they make the hand sign. And all the tail beast bombs, which are still hanging on that air, chakra barrier, but just suddenly just <laughs> turn, combine, merge, and they just boom, rebound back. So the two chakra uh, tail beast balls come, except the bigger one just boom, and he comes back and just his eye goes wide because he's only got one working eye. That uh, uh, Tsunami uh, keeps one of them closed anyway, uh, and just boom, <laughs> and. Most of the force gets ninja forces gets wiped out, and the few remain like maybe half a dozen to a dozen that are remaining and are injured. Just uh, it's like what they see Yagra, who's not dead, but is knocked out cold and in not good shape at all. And finally, it's like holy crap! And then you see Haku, the the barrier finally is Naruto, Utaka, Utakata, and for just. Uh, and you get Gurin, and you get um, Haku and Zabuza walk uh, kind of up there, and they get they're close enough. They're like, you got you. Got, oh, I could take his life right now. It'd be so easy. But then that would. Then, but then what will we do about the three tails? Uh, and uh, Gurin kind of looks at him and say, hey, "This is your." And he looks at, at both Haku and Gurin's like, "This is where you guys. This is your home. Uh, this is your home, your border, your land. You make the call." And they look, and Gorin like has a blade ready as well, made of. And Haku's even got. They all got blades, basically of their own substance. Just, uh, it's like well, the, your only offer. Next time, there. Next time, you will not be making it back to tell your wives and children about this. Now go. <laughs> it's like now go. And Haku just throws some, or uh, Dobzo throws some killing intentions. No. <laughs> and just, uh, and, just, ah! and they just hightail it out of there. And so the day is saved. Uzu was able to fend off the attack. Now, granted, it doesn't come without some injured. Most of the ninja were all the ninja were able to survive. Some of them are going to be out for a little bit, but they're they're okay. Uh, and the waterfall ninja or you know bid their farewells after spending some time there. And said it was good to work with them. We hope to do it in the future, and we hope that if we need aid, you'll come to us. And they agreed. Zabuza, you know, Zabuza's kind of in a, you know, in a bit of a pickle. Like, uh, just, there's no, I, <clears throat> he's weakened. I could take him now, but, uh, but he stops and thinks like, but you know, honestly, at this point, what would it change? And it's like, well, and Naruto even uh, makes the same argument. There's always room for you here. There always has been. <laughs> and Zabuza's, like, <laughs> you're still not giving up on that. I suppose. And then, but he stops and actually thinks and like, look, these guys, these guys know what they're doing at the moment. And they got a good thing going here. I could help out. And he's, but he's, he just looks like, I suppose. <laughs> I was like, good. And, and Gurren even says, good, I could use a good sparring partner now and then. Oh, it's like, you really want to take me on, woman? <laughs> and they kind of glare at each other a little bit. But there's a, that, it's a flirtatious, a flirtatious kind of glare. Like, bring it on. <laughs> uh, and... There you go. That's kind of the pairing I had in mind for Gurren. Gurren and Zabza, I think, would actually make a really good couple. Um, and so, yeah, Uzu is safe. Karin goes and gives Naruto a big kiss and hugs. Like, oh, you're okay. It's like, ah, oh, yeah, that was that took a lot more out of me than I thought it would. And last but not least, we leave off on one note. Now, Kisame and Itachi did go to the leaf. We don't know how good the Akatsuki information is, but we know it's fairly decent so they but they were aware that Naruto was in the leaf for a while should have been in the leaf he actually probably hasn't been gone long enough because it's only been a couple months keep that in mind he hasn't been gone from the leaf that long for them to not realize he's not in the leaf I think and he came back to the leaf for the tuning exams so they realizing that Naruto wasn't there they hear about Uzu 
And <clears throat> they still probably had their interaction with Kakashi and Guy and all that. Kakashi gets floored. And Sasuke wants to go find Itachi, but he can't find him, which sucks. He has to go back to the village. Just, by the by, I do think Kakashi would have still taught Sasuke the Chidori because he would still have had to have fought Gaara down the line. But he also taught him that because he wanted to try to transition him into being an Avenger, not someone out for revenge. And so, uh, Naruto, uh, sorry, uh, I thought I heard a car point. And so, uh, and so, uh, Sasuke, I do think still would have learned the Chidori. He's just huffing and puffing. Third's like, we need to help Kakashi out because he's, he's just MIA right now. Or <laughs> he's not KIA, but he's KO'd at the moment. And when they hear about this, they send word to, for, see if they can find Tsunade. And then it's revealed, thanks to Dry, the Zanai's in the, in Uzu. So they ask if she could come and help look at some of the ninja here, uh, which, by the by, Gar Rock Lee would still be screwed over because of what happened in the Chunin Exam, so this would be very important. And she agrees. Shizune says she'll stay in the, uh, the Uzo for a little bit until they can get more of their medical corps up and running. Because right now, Karin's the really only medical ninja they have. She's doing well, but she the, she's just not a Tsunade level, Shizune level, and they only got really one of her. Plus... She can only, I mean, there's a whole sucking on the chakra thing, but learning medical ninjas like the mystic palm technique is very, is very effective too. But I say all this to indicate the fact that while this was going on, Kisame and Itachi were actually watching the fight from afar, like far enough distance that they would not be seen, but uh, close enough that they could actually watch. Maybe they were using, even using one of Itachi's crows or something like that. And there, they looked at it and went, okay. That's where Naruto is. And it looks like the Six Tails is there too. And from everything I've heard, we know the Three Tails is going to be accessible pretty soon. And it looked like the Seven Tails was there. So we need to go talk to the boss. Now, granted, they weren't going to be going for... We know by the time they got Shikaku, they already had, I believe, three, two other Tail Beasts. I believe they had the Gobi and they had, the, they had uh, Chomei. Here, that's not going to be as easy. They, they, they were able to get a foo because Kakuzu lured into a false sense of security. We, we, know, we learned that in the anime. Uh, so that's how they were able to capture the Seven Tails. Han, I have no idea how they captured him. Han was apparently pretty powerful. In fact, one of the best Taijutsu users in the entire ninja world. And that's including Mike Guy. Uh, and they were able to still capture him. So I don't know. So Han would definitely be captured. I actually think... That during and right now, not, none of them have been captured. We actually know that much. None of them have been captured at this point. By the Shippuden era, none of them are going to try. They're not going to try to go after the uh, the, the three tail uh, tail beasts during the three years. I'm going to tell you right that right now. But they will still probably capture. I think they're actually going to capture the Sanabi because the Sanabi will be end up being released between now and three years. So that's going to be captured. And I think you're going to capture uh, Gobi. Those two are going to be the captured ones this time around prior to the overall events. Because prep time still had to be made for the capture of the tail beast. And we know the nine tails has to be sealed last. <clears throat> and so they go back and tell the boss and tell the group. And so that is where we end part nine with the invasion of New Uzu being unsuccessful. And by the way, last but not least, uh, Anoinki. Anoinki probably only sent the 50 because he doesn't know how to feel about Uzu yet. He doesn't know how to gauge them as a threat yet. So the 50 ninja, as sick as it sounds, were just expendable test fodder. This was essentially like a Mayuri saying, oh, no, no, you're not supposed to come. The bombs are not supposed to come back after the scent. No, this is basically him sacrificing some shinobi to test out the, uh, the defenses of Uzu. And sure enough, Uzu's got some pretty good defenses right now. So, yeah, they are, they will, I will have to consider them threat. Thre the threat. And even Cloud was probably kind of keeping an eye on hearing about this. They were keeping an eye on seeing about what the, should we do about Uzu. But it's like, well, holy crap. Now, that being said, the Cloud, because we know the Cloud wanted more bloodlines. That's why the whole uh, Hyuga thing happened. There is actually a very good route towards a treaty with them. And it, it would just be an arranged marriage. You know, 
maybe uh, have some or like inter inter village politics kind of thing, where they are um, they're, they're just tra they're swapping some shinobi, seeing how things are, and hoping that maybe we can you know work out some marriage uh, some uh, co marriage contracts or something like that. You know, help expand both our villages. You can get a bloodline with a storm release user. It's possible if you're willing to also, you know, maybe send a Ketsurigan Ketsura user our way. Or, you know, if if your you, ice user maybe is interested, you know, we, 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 we could talk. Because remember, Uzu actually has one, two, three. I haven't actually brought him into the story yet, but four. And I think that's all I have right now. Four bloodline users. Uh, remember, I brought up a curry shop. Well, spoilers, Ranmaru is in this village as well. If you remember the one from the, uh, the Raiga arc. Uh, so he's, he's currently working. He's not a ninja, but he is, does have the bloodline. And, uh, may, uh, he works at the curry shop, but the people who he's works with, maybe they think if you can work up your body and stuff like that, maybe you can become a ninja or at least get enough training that when, uh, the chips are down, you can stop, hop in and help people. Uh, so yeah, Ramaru exists in this village too. Because uh, like I said, I, I kind of made it, I did kind of make it a filler village just a little bit. Which is fine, nothing wrong with that. But yeah, here and here we're honestly at a very big um, point in the story coming up. Sasuke. Remember A, the third is alive. So, and Orochimaru is dead. So... What does that mean for Sasuke going to Orochimaru? Or Kabuto, or whoever is currently in charge. We'll figure that out when we figure that out. That will be for next week. I haven't written that part of the story down yet. I write this chapter by chapter. I, I always have an idea of where we're going. Because I definitely know where we're going to be after the time skip. But getting to there is a different story. So look, keep an eye out for that. But until then, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.